If you want to become a better and faster React Native developer, then you should definitely know about these seven React Native snippets. Hey everyone, what's up? Simon here from Galaxies.dev, back with a quick video on some of the best snippets that I collected during the last years of being active, listening on Twitter, writing my own code and seeing things in action. Because some things in your React Native applications come up over and over again, like you need a cool header animation or you have an intro page and need to make this somehow animated. And there are actually a lot of code examples out there and I will present you seven solutions for your React Native app that includes blurry header components, a cool tab bar component, an intro component, things that you can apply directly in your React Native app. If you want to get access, link is below this video. You can get all the components shown in this video and then just copy them over to your project. I will also add the links to the people who made those components and of course if you want more support on some of those topics that we mentioned in this video, check out my platform galaxies.dev. We have a massive zero to hero course, which hundreds of people have been through already and they all enjoyed learning React Native and Expo from the ground up to an expert level. So go check out our mission on galaxies.dev and now let's dive into the snippet. Okay, the first one is pretty easy because you can actually get this out of the box with any new Expo project. You just have to check out your layout for the tab bar and in there you're gonna find some interesting code because the tab bar has a little specification here that yeah, says we want to use a specific haptic tab for the tab bar button and we want to use a tab bar background. All of this results in a haptic tab means you're gonna get some feedback which will only be available on iOS if we check out the haptic tab component and we will also on iOS have a blur view behind our uh, tab bar. So that should look like this. If you scroll this, I set down the blur a bit uh, to 50. You can play around with the values here. Initially it was 100. Now we have a bigger blur at the bottom and you can get this so incredibly easy with a simple setup in your layout file. The second snippet is from Arunap from the community. He shares epic examples on X, you should definitely follow him. And he made this Expo welcome screen example. So let's check out what this is about. If I go to the welcome here, we should see an epic animation. This is so cool. And yes, I noticed that there's an E missing here, but that's not the point. The point is that you can get these kind of enter animations in a super simple way. So the whole file here is about 106 lines of code and there's actually a lot of styling going on. The whole thing is here and we have different components on that page and they all simply just use reanimated to uh, bring them in. So the most important piece of this really is the transition of those things with a little delay. So they come in from different sides and different angles with a slight delay and then you just use them on your components and as a result you get this amazing welcome screen that you can definitely include in many pages of your app. The third snippet is like a little hack that you need to know about. So check this out. These are actually Swift UI elements and views right here in my React Native app. How did I do this? I just included this native view in my page and that view is actually an Expo module and it took me like five minutes to set this up. So setting up an Expo module, you can run a CLI command, you can learn more about Expo modules on Galaxies and our courses and Zero to Hero. But once you got this, you pretty much have your own module here in your project with an implementation for iOS and Android. You can then check them out, how they work. Uh, you just display the root view, you have to do a bit of setup, but most of that is already done by the default view. And then the only thing I did is I actually created this Swift UI view, which you can do with Xcode as well, in which I added stuff like this, like welcome to my app, a button, a text, a list, and you can pretty much expose any kind of Swift UI component directly to your React Native app and then use it like we did on this module screen with a native view element or you do just, just for one element. It's really an incredibly easy technology and I think Expo UI components in the future will follow a same pattern. Have you ever asked yourself how people set up these action menus when you will force touch or long press on an application? 
Well, there's actually a package called Expo Quick Actions that you can use and it's for creating quick actions, but it's also super quick to set up. So after you've installed this, you can include this as a config plugin in your app.json file. And you can then simply set up different iOS or Android actions in here. So these are the ones you see on the left side. Wait, don't delete me, show projects add task and because you're usually using expo router you can be pretty cool in setting up an href here that links directly into your application on top of that you then need to set this up in your application so i made myself a little hook called use quick actions and in there you can also add additional handling for specific things. So for example, if somebody presses the link with the action ID zero, which would be the first one, it should usually open up um, the linking and open up the mail client, which is not supported here. So I've used this in my own application as well to directly dive into pages, to start tests. You see this on other applications, to do is Google, everyone's using them and it's super easy to do. Snippet 5 is more like two snippets in one because we're talking about header animations and I know you love header animations. So I've got two for you covered in here. One is a GitHub inspired one that looks like this. So it scrolls out the title into your header. And the second one is a simple iOS blurry header with big titles. You scroll that up and your image is blurry behind that bar. How does it work? Well, I found both of them uh, from Evan Bacon. As always, he had one example, GitHub style header animation and one shared uh, the, the second one in a blurb X post. What you need to do is for the blurry header, pretty easy. Just set up as options object for your stack screen with these settings. And you can then also play around with the header blur effect. So there are many more that you can use. So changing this, would go to a dark header. You see, we see dark stuff behind it. And it is so easy to apply this in your application. Now for the GitHub inspired list, it's a bit more complicated, but honestly, not really. You just need to use the U scroll view offset from reanimated. So you're handling the scroll of your view. You've wrapped your entire view with an animated scroll view. And then you define a custom header title component. Then we'll use this cool header style, which we define up here. So that one goes here. You're using the use animated style with a bit of interpolation and transforming this. So you're pretty much scrolling in this little text snippet once it's out at the right time at the top and then you get another epic header animation. Snippet six is about how to display a modal component. Now in the past I've been using the Gorham bottom sheet in many cases and it is still a great component for some use cases. But did you know that you can get this out of the box with Expo Router? And it's unbelievable easy. Honestly, it's just the code you see here on this side. So there are many options that you can now use for displaying this. Most importantly, you want to set the presentation of your page to form sheet. Then you can have your gesture direction included. You have an animation and down here we define the specific settings. So this is your sheet grabber. Uh, we then have the corner radius, which defines these. Uh, additionally, the shadow we see is sort of the elevation defined. And then you have this array of sheet allowed detents, which pretty much says where does this sheet snap. So this snaps at 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.75 and then at 1. And it also expands when scroll to the edge. So that's what you see happening here. So really, there's no reason not to use these cool models anymore. And they also perfectly work on Android by now. My final snippet recommendation is actually a collection of snippets because you've been asking about this a couple of times. I usually use the ES7 React Redux React Native snippet extension in VS Code. And if you check out the snippets, you're going to find a very long list with great examples. All the prompts that you can use. Actually, the list for React Native isn't too long, uh, but you should find some pretty cool things. Especially the one I always use is creating a new file. So let's call this foo.tsx. And then I go ahead with either something like React Native Functional Export, RNFE or rnfes which would also include a style sheet down here and then you can just call this page or whatever you want to uh, and it would get the name in three places here here and here and if you want to learn more just check out the repository there are many more it is not about just setting up pages uh, like we did here with components 
but you can also have many other constructs. You can have tests included uh, or hooks or other things that are just very common to React and you can quickly get them with the cool ES7 React Redux React Native Snippet extension. All right, that's it for our quick snippets video today. I hope you enjoyed those snippets. Maybe you already knew some of them, maybe some of them were new, but I'm curious, what's your favorite one and what's a snippet you use in many of your projects? Let me know in the comments. I read all the comments and I'm looking forward to what you come up with it. Maybe we can do another collection video of epic React snippets in the future. Don't forget, hit the like, stay subscribed for more React Native videos coming in the future. And of course, check out galaxies.dev, which is the home of epic React Native content with our new Zero to Hero mission that will take you from beginner stages to advanced React Native developer. I'll hopefully catch you there and in the next video. So until then, happy coding, Simon.